Good day YouTube, Captain Darren here. In today's video, I'm going to upgrade my Dell XPS 17 with a 2TB SSD drive and also a 64GB RAM. Stay tuned. Alright, the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, drinking my coffee. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the bit that you need is the uh, the T5, and those those are really tiny. It's best to use the right size bit or right tools to do the job, so that you don't strip the head on these tiny screws. There's eight of them. So let me remove them all. Now time to remove the lid. I got some sort of prying device. Let me try to, to do this without damaging or scratching the unit. Um, I put a fiber a cloth on the bottom so that to minimize any scratching. That's one side. So I'm slowly popping these clips. Work my way around and it comes off. Let me make sure that the computer is turned off. Now we need to remove the battery. Uh, this plastic thing here, this is what connects the battery down to the board itself. So what you need to do is you need just to grab this piece of plastic and then just lift. Pops out just like that. These are the two RAM. They're eight gigabytes a piece. So we're going to remove both of those. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to leave those there so I know the orientation on how to put the new RAM. So those are eight each, eight gigabytes a piece, and we're going to install the 64 gigabyte from Crucial. It clicks in. Another thing is you can line up that groove with, there's a groove on the inside. This is SSD1 and this is SSD2. And there are two Phillips head screws. So this is the Samsung 2TB 970 EVO Plus NVMe M.2. Okay, now that the heat shield is removed, the next step is to take your new SSD drive and place it in. How this works, you put it inside the groove there and you slide it inwards and it clicks. Make sure that the hole aligns, put the heat shield back on, or the heat sinks, and retighten with the Phillips head. Next thing to do, we're going to plug the battery back in. And 
and it snaps into place. Now it's time to put the the cover back on. Voila, that was the last screw. Okay, let's see if this laptop starts up. Here it is. It's telling me, alert, the amount of system memory has changed. Time of day not set. Please run setup program. Okay. Let's go to continue. Let's take a look at the systems. All right, what I'm looking at here is total physical RAM. I have 63.7 gigabytes. So it's working, that's working. Let's take a look at my hardware. Okay, now I'm looking at storage, disks, model NVMe Samsung SSD 970 Evo plus two terabytes. Okay, I have that there. Now it's time to format disk. My OS is on disk C, disk zero, disk one is unknown. So disk zero is my operating system and disk one is the unknown. That's what I'm going to reformat. All right, I'm going to initialize the disk. I'm going to label it as drive D. So under the disk management, I go to my disk, the new one, the disk one, right mouse click and it's done. Okay. And let's see new simple volume. And there's a wizard here. Welcome to the new simple volume wizard. A wizard helps you create simple volume on a disk. So next, I'm gonna leave it as is and assign a letter to the drive. I'm gonna label it as D. Next, format this volume with the following settings, NTFS, default, and new volume label. Okay, I'm just gonna label it and click next. And let's take a look and see if it recognizes it in my um, file. Here it is. N4 VFR SSD 2 terabyte drive D. Well there, there you have it. My upgrade on my Dell XPS 17 now is a super machine with 64 gigabytes of RAM and another two terabytes of SSD, solid state drive. If you like my video, please consider to subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. And my name is Captain Darren, and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.